Welcome once again, fight fans, to Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. We are four weeks away from the culmination of the toughest test in mixed martial arts. The PFL, the only MMA league with a true sports format of regular season, playoffs, and a championship. Fighting out of Porto Alegre, Brazil, here is Haush Manfio. Fighting out of Dujon Bay, Tajikistan, Loic Rupjaba. Fighting out of Tunsberg, Norway, here is Martin Hamlet. Fighting out of Joao Pessoa, Brazil, here is Antonio Carlos Jr. Fighting out of Islip, New York, Chris Way. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, here is Movlade Habulaya. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, here is Ante Delia. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, here is Bruno Capelosa. Fighting out of Guadalajara, Mexico, here is Abigail Montes. Fighting out of Flint, Michigan, here is Clarissa Shields. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, Magomed, Magomed Karamov. Ray Cooper III unable to join us here in Hollywood, Florida in person, but we do have him joining us remotely. So Brada is here with us. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Taylor Gardado. Fighting out of Middletown, Ohio, Kayla Harrison. The big boss, Peter Murray, has some very important announcements. Pete, I'm going to leave this to you. Great. Thank you, Sean. PFL has signed Julia Budd, a champion fighter, and one of the top women in the sports today. Julia, welcome to the PFL. Julia will make her debut on this very same card on October 27th in another uh, showcase fight. So I'm, I'm going to throw it to Wiz right now. Wiz, take it away. Yo, thanks for the love, Pete. I've been a fan of the PFL and MMA for a real long time. And it's been a real, real honor to join the league. And I'm super happy for the championship and ready to watch these fighters battle it out for the million dollar bag. So I got a huge surprise for you guys, everybody in the fans. On Wednesday, October 27th, PFL World Championship at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Me and the Taylor Gang gonna be in the building. Not only to watch, but I'm gonna be taking the stage to perform for you guys special live. So all the fans in South Florida, make sure you guys come out and check me out. And all the fans who can't make it, make sure you tune in to ESPN Plus or ESPN2. Uh, this question is for uh, Kayla Harrison. Um, Kayla, you have been uh, outspoken in the past about your, um, you know, when you were in the Olympics, about your lack of interest in MMA, and now you've turned into one of the best MMA fighters. And then recently you were outspoken about your lack of interest in pro wrestling, and now it seems like you're one of the hottest prospects in pro wrestling. And so I'm wondering when we're going to see you officially make the transition to pro wrestling like you did in MMA. Are you trolling me, Kilwani? Like what? No. Is I, this? I mean, you, you killed it. Listen, on I did Dan Lambert a favor. He begged me to go so he could have a little pop or whatever it's called in your little wrestling, wrestling world. Uh, so obviously I did Dan the favor. I got on the jet. I went there. I said, all right, I'm here to kill people. I'm going to mess you up. All the fans booed me, I flipped them off, got back on the jet, came home, got back to my real job, which is actual fighting for real in a cage. I mean, I, I also think that the last guy that I fought was an elite opponent. So um, we're just, we went right back to work and we're doubling down on, on studying, we're doubling down on conditioning. We're getting ready for a 25 minute war. What do you think you have and how can you beat Kayla? I mean, I made it here for a reason and I've won my last three fights. Um, I think when it comes down to it, I just need to be the best version of me that night. The ESPN women's pound for pound rankings came out and you were on there for the first time. What was your initial feelings when seeing that? And do you feel like you should be uh, ranked higher? Yeah, someone sent that to me. Um, 
I don't think that I have an initial reaction or a, a comment on it, really. My, my goal isn't to be on the ESPN pound for pound ranking as number nine. My goal is to be the absolute best possible version of myself. And, and right now, my very immediate goal is to be a PFL world champion, two-time PFL world champion. Amanda Serrano got on a Jake Paul card, which was on Showtime. A lot of people watch that. Do you ever want to be on a Jake Paul card as well and maybe get that grand stage as she got? And, you know, they also call her the GOAT. Do you feel like you have some kind of challenge there with Amanda? Don't ever disrespect me. I would never fight on the undercard of a Jake Paul. I'm a three-time division world champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist in boxing. I would never fight on the undercard of Jake Paul. And uh, I don't know what Amanda Serrano purse was. I think it was like 75000 100000 I would never fight another boxing match for that much money because I'm worth so much more. I'm a million dollar fighter. And uh, before I get on um, on the undercard of a guy that's having a circus show, you know, like no disrespect to Tyron Woodley, no disrespect to Jake Paul, but I'm a real boxer. Like I can beat up Jake Paul at the weight class I'm at right now. So no, I would never fight on the undercard of somebody who does not possess the skills or the accomplishment that I have. Um, you know, I was very uh, excited when they signed Clarissa. I'm super excited they've signed Julia. I, I look forward to seeing who else they're able to, to get their hands on for the future. I think um, if you build it, they will come, and, and now they're all, they're all starting to come. And I'm super proud to have been a part of this and, and to have created a weight class for big, strong women to come showcase their skills at. And uh, I look forward to beating them all. <laughs> So when, it, so when it comes time to get in the ring or get in the cage with, you know, Kayla or the other girls who are in a PFL tournament that I don't have any worries about, you know, me losing. I like to get myself a 100% win factor. This is amazing. I'm trying to keep uh, my head on straight and stay focused because the job's not done. Uh, I want to be excited for this and uh, to be content, but I know that there's a lot more work to do and that this is going to be a very tough fight. Uh, Ray, you have asked for this fight and wanted this fight for almost three years. How does a rematch for, against Magomed Magomed Karimov feel different than all of your other PFL fights? Finally, I get to get, get him back for the first season. and um, Yeah, it's just going to be a fight. Um, I'm going there. I'm going to punch a hole in his face and um, retain my title.